everybody. Happy Monday. Today I'm back with a Monday makeup post. I know it's been a while since I've done one of these, but I recently bought a whole bunch of the new Revlon 2014 products. So I thought today I would demo those, do quick reviews. Um, one of the reviews is going to be on the Revlon Age Defined Firming and Lifting Makeup. This is a number 10 bare buff. I'm also going to be going over the Revlon Targeted Dark Spot Concealer Treatment. That was kind of in the same line. And along with those, I am also going to be going over the Revlon Naughty Nude Blush in number 6 and the Revlon Highlighting Palette in number 30, Bronze Glow. These are all new products, so I've been excited, you know, testing them out, seeing how they work with my skin. If you want to see how I apply these and what my thoughts are, just keep watching. So, as I said, today I'm going to be demoing the Revlon H Define Firming and Lifting Makeup. This one is in number 10, Bare Buff. I'm going to be reviewing that along with the Revlon H Define Targeted Dark Spot Treatment Concealer. And um, I'm also going to be going over two other Revlon products. The Revlon Naughty Nude Blush that I recently got and the Revlon Highlighting Palette in Bronze Glow. So this comes in one fluid ounce. I found it at my local CVS for around $15.99. This was $14.99, I believe. And I'm going to show you how this applies. So... As I said, this one's in tin buff. I just like to put a couple pumps, and that's one thing I love about this. I like a pump foundation. I'm going to be using my Sigma F88 Flat Angled Kabuki, and I've already moisturized, and I'm just going to start in the center of my face and work my way out. So, this foundation actually took me by surprise. I think for me, it's a, it's a um, mix between like the Revlon Color Stay and possibly like the Revlon Photo Ready, or I would even venture out to say the L'Oreal Magic Lumi. I think it's in between both. Now this covers pretty well. I would say it's a medium coverage, and be sure to get your ears if your hair's back. And I do think it's buildable. Now, it's not too thick, but it's not too thin either. It's kind of got a medium consistency and um, blends really easy. Doesn't take a lot to blend it into the skin. Now, it is buildable. This gives like a matte to satin finish. I say semi-matte because I think it looks more satin on my skin. It's not too heavy on my skin. Now, if you have oily skin I think that you would definitely have to set this and if you're extremely oil oily you might want to rethink this foundation but for anywhere from dry to normal to combination this is going to work and I just kind of press it in as you can see that is the finish doesn't set too fast um, and it's not sticky at all now I've been testing this out for over a week now and I find that it's lasting on me seven eight hours um, which is pretty decent I am not outside sweating so it's kind of hard to know how it's gonna hold up you know in summer but so far, I've been highly impressed with this foundation. Just shocked. I don't know why, because I do like a lot of the Revlon products. But usually, I go more for the Color Stay, um, or the Photo Ready, or a mix of both. But this just seems like kind of a mix of both. I definitely like the way um, it looks. So that is it. I don't find that this oxidizes on me either. Not that bad. I mean, all foundation usually does, but not that bad. So, if you are oily, you're definitely going to want to set this, but, you know, I don't really have that many oily issues, um, and I'm not oily. I'm more dry-skinned, 
So this actually works pretty well on me with dry skin. Um, now, as for this Revlon Age Define Concealer, I know a lot of people are thinking or saying that this is a very thick concealer. It sinks into the lines around your eyes. It is a thicker concealer, and it has like a sponge tip like the um, Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline. So, be sparingly on this or it will sink in so I like to take it just like that and don't cover any blemishes up with this now I'm just taking a very easy foundation brush and kind of patting it in um, do not you know put too much on or it will be heavy um, it is a thicker consistency so it does cover pretty decent which I'm shocked about if you have blemishes I don't suggest taking that applicator right over I suggest putting some on your finger and I'll show you exactly what I mean like see I have a little red blemish right here so I'm just going to take a little and just use my finger otherwise the bacteria from that blemish will be on that sponge you'll spread it around and it will just be a mess so that is overall the foundation um, look I think it's pretty nice um, I'm kind of shocked because I'm just amazed that I like this foundation so much. Usually, after I put on the under eye concealer, I just very so easy take my foundation brush and just go right back over it to kind of like blend it in. So, overall, I think this is an excellent foundation for anybody who has dry to normal to combination skin. I think it holds up extremely well. It's a medium coverage foundation, but it is buildable. You can build it in the areas that you need to build it in. Um, again, you might want to set this with powder if you get shiny in your T-zone. Um, yes, I really, really am impressed with this. Now this, the concealer, be careful, as I said, not to put too much on or it will get into those fine lines. See, it's not too bad. It's not sinking in too bad. Um, and I definitely, definitely recommend this. Even, But don't use too much. That's where a lot of people are getting in trouble with this. Now, I am also using the Revlon H Fine Wrinkle Remedy. I'm not going to be able to do a review on this until I've used it a little bit longer. It takes a while for those kind of things to, you know, make a difference. So, I'm going to put some color in my skin. And one of the colors I've been loving is the Revlon um, Naughty Nude. This is such an excellent cover, color to um, to just add a little bit of color without too much. I've been bronzing or highlighting, contouring. I've been contouring with this instead of a contouring powder. And I actually really like it. Uh, right now I'm using my Sigma F25, the tapered face brush, which is one of my favorites. Pull it back. Right here is a spot that I notice a lot of people, a lot of women forget. It's in between the jaw and the ear. Just a little piece of skin, but if you do not take some color over that, it will give you a line. Isn't that a pretty color? I love that. Okay, I'm going to get finished um, and I'll be back to talk about this in just about one, two minutes.
see how the blush looks or yeah the blush that I used as a contour looks I also use just a little bit of sugar bomb on the apples by benefit of my cheeks I'm gonna add just a touch of color to my lips just because I hate um, having such pale lips so I'm gonna use some of this Maybelline elixir at number five um, breath apricot All right, to finish off, I'm taking a little bit of this Revlon Highlighting Palette in Bronze Glow I'm using a big, big fan brush. I'm just going to wipe it back and forth. Take it right at the top. Yeah, it's just the most subtle glow. Now, I think I still like Physician's Formula probably a little bit better. Um, the shimmer strips, but this is still a really nice one. You could definitely use those colors on the eyes, too So that is the look of the makeup Pretty good coverage um, Again, this is $15.99. You can find it at your CVS. I think this is perfect for anybody who has normal to dry to combination skin now what I like to do is just take a little bit of whatever setting powder you want to use. I'm using the L'Oreal Naturally Luminous Powder. And I'm just taking a small powder brush and going around the middle of my face. So just right in the T-zone to knock down any of that high shine. You don't want too much on, especially if you're dry skin like me. But a little bit goes a long way. So, I am super impressed with this makeup. I really am. Um, I still think it's a like a mix of the Revlon Color Stay and possibly the Revlon Photo Ready or even a little bit closer, the Dream Lumi by L'Oreal. It seems like it's a medium coverage that blends effortlessly. Um, it lasts for seven to eight hours on my skin without using any primers whatsoever. So that's a pretty good sign. Um, I don't notice that it is um, changing color. I don't notice that it's breaking up on my face. It seems to hold up under, you know, the normal conditions really well. So definitely try this out. Remember, you can get this at your CVS, but you can take it back. If number one, you got the wrong color shade, and number two, you just don't like it. You don't even have to have your receipt to take it back. You can take it back without a receipt and get your money back or get, you know, a different product. So, I actually think that the new Revlon products for 2014 are pretty nice. Um, I absolutely love this Revlon um, Naughty Nude Blush. This is definitely one of my favorites. You can see that it's just so natural, so beautiful. I mean, it's just beautiful. You see it on my finger? And I think, you know, for winter, you don't want anything too bright. You don't want anything that's too bold. This is perfect. Um, just to give you a little bit of glow, again, the Revlon highlighting palette is nice. Um, I have a ton, like here is the Physician's Formula Shivering Strips. These have a little more highlight to them. This has a more bronze glow, um, but they are super nice, and I'm definitely excited that I got this because, you know, I, I have a different one, um, an Age Define Makeup by L'Oreal that I just did not like. I didn't like the formula. I didn't like how it held up on my skin, but this one definitely, like, took me by surprise. I love that it's in a pump. That's great, so you're not, like, dumping it and wasting it, like... With the color stays still it's the same size one fluid ounce so that's pretty normal and again um it's super super blendable creamy it's not too heavy on my skin does a great job giving me a semi-matte look it says it's mattifying but i still find it semi-matte um i think it's more satin 
um, look to it. And I just really, really like this. I think it's a great foundation for the price and for a drugstore foundation. You know, the thing is, is that drugstore foundations are getting better and better and better. No longer do we have to spend a ton of money on a base um, because the drugstore has so many good ones. This is a like for 2014. I don't know if it's a love yet. I definitely know I like it a lot. I need to keep using it. I've used it for close to two weeks now. I did a haul. I will post that haul right there in case you're interested in watching it. But yes, I'm just impressed with this. I love the finish. I love that it's buildable um, and not too cakey, not too heavy. It doesn't dry me out too bad. Um, but again, if you're oily, you're definitely going to want to set it. When it comes to the um, concealer, definitely be light. I get cat hairs all the time. That's what happens when you breed kitty cats. Um, be light with the application. You don't have to like gob it on. You can just be very light, make a few dots, and blend it in. Um, sometimes the heat from your fingers will blend it in easier than a brush. But I find this extremely easy to use. This one is in light to fair number one. And at first I thought it was a little bit light for me, but still it does a really good job of covering. Now if you have like major under eye circles, this might not work for you. But again, it works fine for me. It works nice. So I'm just impressed with both of these. And um, if you guys have tried them, I would love to know. You can leave it in the comments below on what you think of these if you're trying them. And if you want to try them, let me know. Um, but yes, definitely a hit here in my home because I love it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions whatsoever. You can leave those in the down bar. I hope you have um, a wonderful Monday and um, I've got lots of stuff to do today. So I'll be back very soon. Check out my blog at kjaggers.com. Information and for more pictures, everything is there. And all you have to do is go to the down bar and you'll find the links. So again, thank you for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.